Hello, I'm Sean Tan, here in my studio in Brunswick, Melbourne, to talk to you a little bit about my forthcoming book called Creature, Paintings, Drawings and Reflections. Uh, so this is a, a book that is, I guess, 25 years in the making. Um, it's a survey of past illustration for book, film, um, gallery, exhibition, uh, all sorts of things as well as some personal works and um, something I've been wanting to do for a long time which was collect a whole lot of random pieces together under an umbrella theme and in searching for that theme while looking over past work that I've been producing ever since I started illustrating stories in the mid 90s um, I realized that uh, one preoccupying concern was always creatures um, strange, bug-eyed things, little companions, monsters, um, often relating to a human in a story and revealing something about human nature by, you know, producing an abstract person. And um, it occurred to me, going back even further, that this is an obsession that's been with me since early childhood and, in fact, the, the first ever Drawings I remember doing as a, as a very small child uh, were of creatures, um, both dinosaurs and existing animals, but more often than not imaginary animals. And it got me wondering, you know, why is it that not just myself, but so many other artists uh, have this ongoing interest with imaginary beings, you know, and it goes right back to ancient mythology and cave painting and everything, you know, what is it about us that makes us want to describe ourselves in terms of imaginary creatures. So, um, you know, this is <laughs> the first work I have of mine, which is a, a painting that I did when I was three years old, um, going on four uh, of three dinosaurs. There's a mother dinosaur, a father dinosaur, and a, a little baby dinosaur that hasn't been born yet. And um, it's the first drawing that I remember doing. So I did other drawings before that, but this is the first one I remember sitting down at the kitchen table and actually drawing. And, um, you know, I guess you could say that set a, a train <laughs> for all future work because it hasn't really changed much since. Um, I almost still keep dealing with um, similar themes to do with um, family and regeneration and so on through the, uh, the metaphor of creatures. Um, right up to more recent work such as um, this cicada which was in a picture book a few years ago um, lowly office worker who gets bullied but uh, has the last laugh and um, one of the motivations for putting together this book was um, a realization through doing lots of talks and workshops and um, traveling around to different countries and festivals that there is a huge interest not just in um, in the work that I've done that's related to stories, but um, who I am as an artist, what other things that I do, and the actual practice of drawing and painting and the imaginative process behind it. So I wanted to create a book that describes that um, and reflects a little bit on my own thoughts about creative process. So there's a number of essays in the book as well as illustrations and uh, extensive footnotes for each painting, just describing the inspiration and ideas behind them which hopefully will give some insight and, you know, inspiration to other students uh, who are interested in drawing and painting. Um, previously, I worked with Windy Hollow Books uh, in 2010 to produce this small volume called The Bird King. Um, and I didn't think too much about it at the time. I did it as a suggestion from a friend who also was looking through my work and, and saying to me, you know, you should show this to other people, you know, sort of stuff that you're doing in your sketchbooks, which is really, you know, the genesis of um, a lot of the more well-known published work and, and film and theatre. And um, so I put that together and, you know, I thought, oh, a few people are going to buy this book, but otherwise the general reader's not going to be very interested. But it was, it was hugely successful and, um, you know, widely translated. Um, there's a French edition. Um, Japanese, uh, German, and many other more many other territories, 
And so um, I got a lot of great feedback too. I still get a lot of feedback about this book, you know, even though it's, it's you know, almost, um, well, 12 years ago. And um, I thought it was about time to sort of have a more substantial book with um, going into more detail, particularly with finished paintings. So The Bird King was a sketchbook. It was um, all works done in a single sitting without the intention of ever being published. Um, whereas The Creature involves quite a variety of material, including uh, personal paintings um, that are for no particular reason, um, but also sketches for well-known books such as The Arrival, Tales from Outer Suburbia, Tales from the Inner City, Cicada and so on. Um, and uh, a number of narrative illustrations which kind of I produced thinking they might be books but realising, you know what, they're just better as singular paintings and um, they're for the reader to imagine their own stories. So part of the purpose of this book is as a, I guess, um, an imagination trigger. Um, it could be used quite extensively, I imagine, by educators as the impetus for creative writing exercises um, where there's just an image, a title and no actual story. So there's a lot of freedom for others to create their own narrative. Um, so that's that's about it from me. Um, you know, I hope that this is a this book is as interesting to other people as it has been for me. And uh, I hope it uh, inspires a lot of younger artists to um, probably pursue something that they were already interested in, but not sure if it had any value. Uh, so it's kind of a nice, a nice way of saying, you know, this sort of work does have, you know, important artistic and intellectual and cultural value. Um, they're not just silly creatures. They have something deep and important to say about human beings. Um, and our relationship to the world, and uh, yeah, um, I hope it's uh, it's interesting. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.